is Roxy, and her McGurk, we hit the best church rummage sale I've ever gone to in my life. Um, my mom and I used to go to them when I was little, like I was the youngest, so all the kids would be at school and me and her would go and rummage around rummage sales. So they're always kind of fun. I haven't had gone to them for years and years, um, and this year... Our neighbor for years now has been telling us about their church rum and sale and we never went. So finally this year, um, we just headed over there and it was a good one. Well this one, we were driving around a couple weeks ago looking for garage sales, which there are none anymore around here. I don't know what the deal is, if that's kind of going by the wayside like craft sales, but actually craft sales are way over in abundance. Anywho, we drove by um, Salem Lutheran Church, which there's probably a million of them in the United States. But this was one over um, the city next to us. And um, we're all excited and then realized it's two weeks away. So we went on Friday and it was already half off. So that tells me they had um, a ton more stuff. Plus, maybe not a lot of um, traffic. So, I found some really cool things, in my mind at least. Um, this was one. A whole set of recipe cards. Looks like recipe and note cards. So, look at And a dead wormy binder. Cute. Oh, you can even buy protectors. This is old. I don't know if you can tell. Well, they do have a UPC code, so it's at least 1973, which, by looking at these, I would say 70s anyway. But they're, um, my sister had some of these where they folded open. But this is from that, um, Corn, Cornimer, Cornimer, Cornimer Corporation. So that's cool. I can use these in some journals and whatnot. Gotta get rid of this worm though. So that was fun. Oh, and everything was half off, so that was, you know. And this was a quarter, so these were a quarter. This is really cool. I've already gone through and found a bunch that I want to try. Uh, really cool. Like a lot of um, ethnic stuff from around the area. Like Liebkuchen or Liebkuchen. And what else did I see that I got excited? Pfeffernus, those are really good cookies. So this will be fun. Sauerbraten. I think those are German. They're just very kind of well known around here. Those. Fasnacht. Must be German. So, and then I found this. For bread machine. I don't even know what year this is. Don't, 2002. So that's really cool. It's got a lot of really cool recipes to try. Dog eared some. Like applesauce cinnamon bread. I'll show you what I dog here so far. Rhubarb bread. I've got a ton of rhubarb. So I'm going to try that. <coughs> I love rhubarb. People either love rhubarb or you don't. I've always wanted to try some five grain. And then porcupine. Sounded kind of fun with seeds and raisins. Raisin bread and cinnamon rolls. So that'll be good. And then I, this is um, the Shriners. You've heard of the, like the Osmond Temple Shrine. I think that's their, um, this is their thing. <clears throat> it's a Sojourner Supreme Worthy Chaplain. 
Is anybody watching Love Lodge 49? That is so funny. Or quirky, I suppose. Oh yeah, orange nibbles. That sounded good. I didn't dog ear a lot because I didn't want to... I would have dog eared practically every page. Um, or the baked beans. Southern style. And hot dog relish. You can can that. That'd be good. I made um, chow chow a couple of years ago. I don't know why I dog eared that. And um, this is a lot like it. I don't know if you've ever made chow chow. No, that ain't it. It's just cabbage, onions. It's a lot like chow chow. So, that'll be good. I might make not a full batch because I'm the only one in the house that eats it. So probably just like a, like a quarter of a batch and can some small, either half pint jars. This I thought was kind of, well here I'll do the, yeah the vegetable, vegetarian. Um, I thought this would be good. I kind of want to get kind of a meatless Monday thing going or even meatless Saturday. So we're not always eating meat, but getting, you know, nutrition. I'm not going vegan or anything. Don't worry. I love my meat too much. I love beef. I love, I love pork, but pork doesn't like me. I like veal. So I thought this would be fun to kind of, um, just go through it and update maybe some of the projects if possible. So this is from 72. So you can tell a lot of the old folks are cleaning out their closets. And um, that was really a fun sale. Really fun. I got a ton. Scrubby got, I can't remember, he got, he bought... <clears throat> Two shirts that were from the dry cleaners. One was a um, I can't think. Really nice shirts, both name brand dress shirts for a dollar, and then um, like a kind of a Tommy Bahama shirt, you know, like a pullover, and it really looked nice on him, and it was a really. Both, all three were in kind of brand new condition. So he got those and some other stuff. But this is kind of fun. Look at how cute little tart candles. Tart pan candles. We used to do candles. That's cool. Everything old is new again. Look at how cool that is. This is like my childhood in here. I hope that doesn't date me. I made clowns like that only um, like with arms. I sold them. I think I still have them. And their heads were like little styrofoam balls. I sold a ton of them at craft sales because I had a McCall's pattern. I th oh, look at how cute. Those are cute. So simple. I mean, you know, make finger. Oh, it's all office product stuff. That's cute. So that might be fun. And then I found this. This is really nice. I want to um, use it. I don't want to color it. That's for sure. But this is kind of more, um, yeah, just ornaments that you would copy. They're copyright free. I had a couple of books like this that I de-stashed. But they were um, more like pictures and people and, but that's what this is. So, then, this was fun, fun sale. Oh, these ladies were, um, like they had DVDs and CDs and books in one room. This church was huge. And then across the hall from the room, I came out and these two ladies were going nuts at this bookcase. And it was all DVDs. And I thought, oh, I missed some DVDs. They must be good. Well, they were called slots. And evidently, you put it on your computer. 
Because I asked them, I go, what are those? Because they're just going nuts. And they're like, oh, they're slots, Molly. You put them on your computer and you can play them, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't ask because I didn't want to be dumb. But I thought, why would you just play them if you don't win money? But they were having a field day. And I think they got them all and there was about 20 of them. Anywho, I found, I got this to cut up, but I don't think I'm going to cut it up. Because it's an oldie. Look at that printing. The color is just so vivid still. Isn't that cute little red hen? She's so mean at the end. Um, no, she's not. This is like, um, I did not know this until I read this preface, that the Bobsy twins are actually from like 1910. Because this is um, the writer saying that um, there was so much, yeah. There was so much interest in the book that she decided to write more. And I'm not even seeing where I saw it. 40 years. This is 1950, so the original Bobsy twins are from 1910. Because I was thinking, like, oh my god, this must be an original, you know, one of the first ones. But it's not. So that's kind of cool. There's no pages. Um, but I thought I'd read it just for fun. But I do love this. I'm for sure going to use that. It's kind of faded, but still it's good. I could probably scan it in. It's so cute. And I found this for the Babsy cutout stuff to cut them out, like Miss Babsy Barnes. I've got a video showing um, some of the cutouts. She's done a few videos because she's sent me so much. And then I found this. I love padding tenny, so cute. But these will be kind of fun. That'll be a good one. Look at um, He's so cute. Those movies are so adorable. They're just a fun little feel-good movie. Like Secret Life of Pets. I love that one. This I kind of bought more for the cover. It's kind of cool. I know people are going to go nuts because of the cultural appropriation, but I'm not into that jam. I think it's fine. I don't think... I know people think it's terrible, but I don't know. I don't think anybody's doing it to be, like, disrespectful. It's, you know, who wouldn't want to wear one of those? And I'm sure it's... I suppose it is offensive to people, some people. So I better just shut up. Then I found this one. Kind of a cool little book. Really neat artwork, I thought. Like for, I don't know what I'd use it for. Maybe more for like tags. It's kind of cool, different. Then I found some CD DVDs. All right, I about had a heart attack right in the church because I was going through the DVDs and I saw one, I think I got it on the bottom. I saw one and I thought, oh my gosh, if that's... And there's... Okay, I'll tell you the story. Here it is. This is the movie that Bill watched when we had kind of broken up. Because I was like, either shit off... Or, oops. I was either, you know, let's get something going here or else we're not gonna... Um, because it was getting, you know, it's like 23 years old. My dad had died. My mom was dying. And I was like, I need to get, I need something, you know. So, anywho, we broke up. And we were broken up for like three months. And my mom passed away on Christmas Eve. And I, T was the person I called. Even though I was dating somebody else. He was the person I called, and he said, 
I'll come right over. You know, so anyways, that Christmas, he was watching this movie, and there was a part in it where, you know, where the gross ghost of Christmas past comes and takes him, and he sees his, his girlfriend and wife, and, but, you know, money was more. That's what made Bill realize that he should propose to me. So isn't that cool? So anyways, it's kind of our... We have it on VHS, but of course our VHS thingamajig doesn't work anymore. And I've been trying to find it for two years. And it's either not available or I found one that's like $70 or something. I thought, forget it. So when I saw Scrooge, I thought, oh, I wonder if it's the one with Albert Finney or I think who was it, the other one? Not George C. Scott. I always get him mixed up. Another actor or, you know, the really old one. So I looked and I'm like, oh my God, I think that's the one. And I saw his name. I'm like, yes. So I grabbed and I grabbed this one just because I like those three. That one's always kind of a fun nostalgic. And that's, I like Jamie Lee Curtis. So I got those and then I found Earth, Wind & Fire, Greatest Hits. Got them all. We're driving around after the you know, sale. Went and go to have lunch. Go driving around. Blah, 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 and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I didn't check the DVDs to make sure they're in there. Because I was so excited and I was like in a frenzy grabbing everything. And I couldn't because they were in the back, 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 back part of the car. So I waited till I got home. Okay, and I checked. I checked this one first. Ooh, I was so nervous. But I could hear it, and it's there. I'm like, oh, thank God. <gasps> and I checked this one. Oh, good, it's there. And I checked this one. This one, I was like, well, if it's not, but it was good. I checked this one. Yeah, yeah. Checked the Earth, Wind, and Fire. Wah, wah, wah. I can't believe it. it happened again. So anyways, thank God it was only 50 cents, or... Yeah, these were 50 cents because they were a dollar. So poopy, stoopy stuff. All right, now I got, oh, and then I've got these. I bought, oops, I bought a couple of these a while ago at a sale. And they really are nice because they, you know, you can see through them for one. But the ones I got had colored lids, but you can still see through. And they're just like a nice um, size and depth. So I got two of these. These are, they I, they looked familiar, and sure enough, Kmart. I think I remember them there. So I got two of those for, I think those were a dollar, so I got them for 50 cents. And then I'll be back. All right, so I collect old Tupperware. I'm not real crazy collecting, just like pieces that I've been that I either, either my mom had or that I've always wanted. Um, like I have my mom's old, my sister actually took really good care of them. Which is kind of surprising. But, so I have some of her old Tupperware. Like the, um, just plain white with lids. But they're nice and big, so I don't know why I'm doing that. So I've always wanted one of these. But they're super expensive if you find them complete, which this is. And it has two trays inside. They had the trays on top because it has. Um, they're actually, mostly we're selling the, um, I think the lady or whoever had it made those um, dough ornaments, which I wasn't interested in. But, so this whole thing was eight bucks and I got it for four, which is a steal. Because it's in perfect condition. There's no cracks. There's a little bit of scratches, but that's to be expected. But it's really nice condition. It doesn't smell. But look at all her little things. She actually did a really good job. And they're cute. She did like the three pigs. Isn't that cute? She just used paper clips for their hangers. 
But she did a good job. I'm surprised. So they're actually kind of cute. And there's um, this little guy who's cute. She did a really good job, actually. Because that's a teeny tiny teddy bear there. And painting. So this was kind of cool. And then one lady, I think it must have been hers. I would didn't think to ask because I was just like in such a like a euphoric state by the time I got to the checkout and they were really they were like 85 and 90 year old women and, and a guy and they were super slow but that's okay I'm not saying that but it was just kind of like I gotta hurry and play with the stuff but anyways so I think it might have been hers she goes oh there's a recipe on how to make them too I'm like oh cool bring it up I'm just kidding so look at this one though Really nice. I wish I would have asked her. But they're really cute. But isn't this awesome, the tray? I'm definitely going to use this. Probably for my cutout stuff. Oops. Little pencil. A little snowman. Super good work. present then there's some stuff down here oh scrubby said you should give this to John our neighbor next door we have raccoons in the back among other critters in fact we heard a kai wolf the other day um, anyways uh, the raccoons would get up on our decks even though we put flashing on the legs of the deck or the you know things support things they'd still get up there because everybody was feeding the birds and they'd come up looking for food we'd be watching tv on a saturday or whatever and you'd see these two eyes looking in at the screen door and it's like bill would like slowly walk up to the screen door and shut it because they'd make their way in if they could anyways our neighbor i told this story before he wanted to um they found one up there drinking the hummingbird feeder stuff and so he put a um, trap out there, one of those steel, you know, those cage traps out on his deck and sure enough, night that night he catches one and it's in there well then like I would have just set it out I don't know why he had trap it in the first place so then he had to walk through the house with it, when the thing is scared and freaked out so it's going all over the carpet so Bill goes, you should give those to John this little ornament, but I don't know if she made it. It's possible. She did a really good job on this stuff, so it's possible. He's got to be shellacked. So I don't know if she said how to. She must have did. Did she must have done classes? Cause she's got all these printed out. So let's throw those. But anywho, I thought the biggest prize was the Tupperware, but quite honestly, I think these are awesome. Super cute. So, that was this fun find. But look at all these little compartments. Oh my god, who doesn't like compartments, right? Maybe I'll save that for him. So I got that. And the cover, great condition. And then this closes. Like, oops, how am I doing it? There. Not cool. Super excited about that. All right, so then I got to move this over here. Okay, oops. All right, so then I found some more Tupperware, and I smell it because you know how some Tupperware can get that weird. Yeah, see, none of these do. This just has to be cleaned up. But these are really cool. You can't put this in the dishwasher or the microwave. Not safe for anything. And then this size, look at, that's a sandwich size back in the old days when bread was smaller. And this one smells good. 
Yeah, see, that's weird. Because they always, not always, almost always have smell. But I uh, lucked out on these. So they must have kept them apart. Yeah, perfect. So that's that. These were a quarter each. And so they were, you know, 12 and a half cents. These were a quarter. These are wherever. And I can clean this up better. But these are really, really nice for making um, layer cake. I always wanted a set of these. Goes better this way, I think. There. See, I see it's got to get cleaned. I'm going to soak it. There. So that's cool. Again, a quarter. And then I got this set. I dropped one right when I was doing this. Bringing it over here. So it's under the table. But these are in really good condition. These are probably not as old as those. I could put the number in and see, but... So that's that. Then, these are always good to have. I've got a couple in my cabinets for spices. This is from Rubbermaid. And these are, this one's old. I think they still sell stuff like this, but it's in really good shape. See? This is what you could do. You could put your cakes up here and decorate them. No, we won't do that. Then I found this. Oh, this twirly thing was 50 cents. This is going to be cool. This was a dollar. After their tickets were so obnoxious. Because you couldn't get them off anything. Because um, I had to like sit and scrape, scrape, scrape off the Tupperware. So, um, oh yeah, so I think I'm going to use this for the Project Life Cards Plus. I cut up, um, I learned this from Sandy Alnick years ago. Any of your solid scraps or even pattern scraps, cut them up to fit a um, four and a quarter by five and a half card or smaller or whatever. So that's what she does. She's got a really good video on it. If I can find it, I tried to find it a couple years ago and I couldn't find it, but it's really a good idea. So I'm going to put all that stuff in here. So that'll be cool. I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I think I'm going to leave it. Leave it as straw. So what else do I got? Oh, yeah. This was 50 cents. And it's, you know, one of those things where you can... I first thought it was Red Wing. But it's not. But Red Wing has a whole line like this. By Verge. 1963. Ooh, February 14th. <gasps> Love. Found that. And then I've... Always one of these for, you know, these came out a couple of years ago, and that was 50 cents. That's by Maud Borp, which I thought was a candy company. Maybe it had candy or something in it. So that's that. And then I have one last thing, but I'm going to put it in my Dollar Tree haul. Because, I don't know why, because I think it's because I put it with that stuff, and I forgot to bring it, so... I'll show you that in my Dollar Tree haul. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is going to be the last, one of the last sales we go to, I should say. Because our thrift store is half off today. So thanks for watching. Bye.